As the U.S. watched from the sidelines today, Russia's Vladimir Putin emerged as the key power player in Syria, reaching an agreement for a new six-day ceasefire with the president of Turkey. Holly Williams is in southern Turkey tonight and reports on what Russia's new role means for the U.S. and the fight against ISIS. The deal tonight between President Erdogan and President Putin will hold off a Turkish offensive in eastern Syria for another six days. Turkey will get a 20-mile safe zone along its border, but this is much more than a ceasefire agreement. As American troops leave eastern Syria, the U.S. is ceding influence to Russia. The Russians have stepped into the power vacuum. They're already patrolling territory once controlled by America and its allies. The U.S. withdrawal opened the door to the Turkish offensive, targeting Kurdish fighters that Turkey says are a terrorist group. But the Kurdish forces have been America's closest partners in the campaign against ISIS on the ground in Syria. They've been betrayed by the U.S., they say, and have now stopped fighting ISIS. And then there's the fate of the roughly 12,000 accused ISIS fighters that Kurdish forces say they're still holding. We were given exclusive access to one of their prisons last month, where they showed us security video of an attempted escape. So they're, they're breaking out of their cell? Yeah. It's unclear who'll now be in charge of keeping them locked up. With American troops leaving eastern Syria and Kurdish forces sidelined, the question is who will continue the battle against ISIS? And like so much else right now, that could be up to the Russians. Nora. All right, Holly, thank you.